Spence Lee, and in this series, I'm taking time to learn from a master of their craft. Drawing wisdom from those that came before me, I've come to understand that in the pursuit of excellence and knowledge, one must remain a lifelong student. We in Atlanta where my brother and mentor, Mike Will, made it. The world knows him as a super producer who's been behind some of the most iconic music ever. But I also have the privilege of knowing him as a friend and a coach who's been pushing me since day one. Melodies are infectious and my lyrics carry substance. But to unlock all that, it takes real work. Before we drop this album, me and Mike gotta make sure everything is out the box and pushing the boundaries. Of the thousands of songs we might cook up, the only ones that make it out are the most unique and forward pushing. The goal is to have your own sound, to be unique, to have your own stamp. When you hear it, you gon' know it's a Mike Will be. You gon' know it's Spence. You gon' know it's a Spence flow. You gon' know it's a Spence melody. Fresher than most of y'all in a white tee. Yeah. Look way better in person than IG. Yeah. Said she never met nobody like me. Yeah. I'm from the jungle, baby. Can you climb trees? Yeah. When you see me, my game right beside me. Yeah. That's my brother, my twin. That's my side me. Yeah. Hundred bitches, but only one white feet. Yeah. Need somebody that can set my mind free. Yeah. One of Mike's superpowers is he's gonna come with them beats that you ain't never heard before, and that's gonna make the artist catch a pocket they ain't never been in. That's a wave right there. Well, it's me and Matt. We did that shit in the basement. Well, yeah, at the crib. That's what, yeah, that's a vibe. That's what it sound like. Basement vibes. That's yeah. some. That's some guy that I'm matchable by. Yeah. For real. YTR. Yeah, YTR, right? For real. I fuck with all that shit. Growing up as an Asian American, I realized that the best way to represent was by speaking up for myself, being unapologetically confident and creative. I've tried many different creative pursuits, but music and the power of the word have blessed me the most. Through it, I've been able to authentically share my perspective and inspire other people. I ain't gonna lie, man, like, see, like, all these adjustments, making everything just fit in, just... Yeah. Oh, this shit just sound big. Oh, this shit just sound like, you know what I'm saying, performance shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Big crowd shit, like, you know what I'm saying? It's so melodic and shit. Back in 2014, I met Mike on the set of a Ray Shremmer music video that my hometown friend Max had called me the style. I wasn't even a stylist. I was really doing music, art, fashion, modeling, doing whatever I knew how to do to get on. We instantly clicked, and him taking me serious as an artist and creative made me take the craft more serious. The experience gained from being around Mike turned into me doing shows, doing festivals overseas, and connecting with people all around the world. What did I say? Vibes! Vibes for a day! I remember like my first, like, first time meeting you, yeah. like in New York. I didn't even know what you looked like yeah, until yeah. I met you that day because I just would know you from the music. I would know your tag, I would know the songs you produced and stuff like that. Yeah. So when I met you, and I was like, okay, this is Mike. And it was dope to, to meet you at such a young age because it's like, I'm young and I'm 25, but you even younger, you like down there 17, like, you know what I'm saying? You coming with certain confidence that reminded me of where I just was yesterday, like, you know what I'm saying? You already came to the video shoot with a vision, like how you wanted to see Shrimp in this yeah. in this music video, you know what I'm saying? You were you weren't just a young dude on the sideline, like just watching, like or in the hour, or like, yeah. man, let me take a picture and act yeah. like you did something. <laughs> like you were literally like contributing, like, no, no, no. Yeah, I, I remember you. coming up to you, you know like, what I'm saying? I know that I know this brand wants to has to plug their clothes in here and this look and this look, we yeah. can do that. But like, I had an idea if we just use all of the clothes I brought. And, exactly. then, and then you were like, let's do it. For real. And that was when I was like, damn, like, Mike Hard, like. Nah, for real. I see the growth and like, you know what I'm saying? And it was just dope to see, 
to catch you at that young age instead of me and you like just talented spence like now and then now you're trying to pick up on it you know what i'm saying because it's like now you season like now you you know what i'm saying you got tours and you know what i'm saying you're traveling over here you know what i'm saying like you got big things going with 88 you got big things going with boom ear drummers like you know what i'm saying like how these folks everywhere we go they know who you is i don't care where we go like you know what i'm saying what city miami new york la you know what i'm saying i seen it with my own two eyes i might be in the back on the phone i see these folks yo spin spin like people that might not even speak english really? you always the the younger generation like kanye speak on this a lot like the young younger generation always gonna have a certain kind of innocence to their creativity, but they're gonna be still using their imagination and, you know what I'm saying? It's an art to ignorance. You have a crazy network already from just like your work. You have like a vision to where you're able to push artists outside of their usual sound, putting together like Miley, Juicy J and Wiz on the same song is kind of like, nobody would really think of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, like you said, People was like, yeah, I don't know even, if it'll work, I don't know if it'll work, but. Even on Ransom, it was like Lil Wayne, Kendrick, yeah, Lil and Wayne, Future. Yeah, on By The World, right? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm all about, just, you right. Just like, doing like the rare, who is Ears, like, yeah. who is Bank Road Fresh, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. they, they try to figure out who are these artists, like. Putting them right you know in the mix saying? with all the big artists, too, yeah. You feel me? And it's all about pushing the limit. If you ain't gonna push the limit, you know what I'm saying? Folks might not be entertained. And the more and more that you can take it out of the box and make it sound cool, is the, the more genius, you know what I'm saying? To us, like, normal was being different. Like, that mm -hmm. was the standard, you have to be different. Because yeah. if you're not different, then, then you then you lose it. There's so many different talented people around here with different swags and different vibe, but if you came through biting, it's just like, you're not, you're not gonna make it out of here mm -hmm. when I was coming in, you know what I'm saying? So you had to have your own ID. All these guys got their own DNA. But even like the drum pattern, I'm trying to make it off and on at the same time. Like, mm -hmm. that's just my DNA, you know what yeah. I'm saying? The next person's DNA might be his melodies, you know what I'm saying? Like, or you could tell by how he did the melodies, or his transition. I would, like, I remember like we was in, um, we was in the shed at Ray Schremer, oh, second yeah. house. And it was like one night we were just all up, like me, you, and Plus, yeah. Sway, and Ears. And Jimmy, we're just in there, and then you were just cooking up mad. We might have cooked over like 10 beats. Yeah. And then some of those beats ended up being big ass songs. Yeah. I was like, damn, I can't believe I'm no, seeing this shit. DNA. <laughs> yeah, but that's when I seen it. He got the own, he got his own DNA to his music. Nah, it's crazy because that was DNA that I cooked up that night. Yeah, DNA. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Literally. For Kendrick, yeah, I remember yeah. that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I just always try to like vibrate high. You know what I'm saying? Recognize what my gifts are from God and try to just show him. Thank you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I said. How did you go from just being like a solo producer, right, to being a boss? Like, how did we go from Mike Will as the producer to Mike Will as the, as the man, boss? Man, I, I was like, I conquered the underground. I was like, man in the underground seeing all the mixtape joints, like we were going crazy, man. But then I'm like, Damn, like, what's the difference between like me and like, like a Kanye or like a Dr. Dre or like a, you know what I'm saying? Like, main difference is like, I need to, I need to have like a team. Like, okay, my team gonna be, we all out of the box. We all out of box. We all different. I'm gonna look at this shit like X Men. I'm gonna be like Professor X. Everybody had their own special powers though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like yo, we only make beats like this. Everybody got their own special powers. All right, I'm in a position to give young, young guys opportunity. Okay, so I'm gonna give my guys I was rocking with me when I ain't have nothing, opportunity first. Then we're gonna connect with a couple, a couple of new guys that, you know what I'm saying, are thinking like us, that can think out of the box, that can listen, and that we can help grow, you know what I'm saying? That's how it went, and it's just organic, and just let that shit happen organically, you know what I'm yeah, saying? It's naturally coming to you. Exactly. To be. I just feel like the best collaboration is like to try shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It can either be right or wrong. You already had bangers. I already know this, man, you're right. This project full of bangers, but man, we still could tap into a whole nother bag, even if you weren't seeing it, even if you got frustrated or whatever. And it's like, but one thing I rock with you about it is no matter how, how you feel, you ain't really gonna let that be known. You just straight rock with it. Like, all right, bet, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's knock it out, let's get it. Can't come in here, got they ain't doing like 
the same exact shit that's going on around you. That's what they, you know what I'm saying? That's what everybody, that's what, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you gotta come with your own DNA. Or, or else you might, you know what I'm saying? You just like a duplicator, you, you know what I'm saying? You AI, <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. I ain't trying to be AI, you feel yeah. me? Timeless music has no expiration date. A true artist releases their work when it's complete, not to compete. Mike told me that. I got it.